Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Dina. It is Friday. It is January the 1st. Happy New Year. I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. I hope your day has started off the way that you would hope it would. I've often heard uh, it said that whatever you do on New Year's Day, you will be doing the rest of the year. So I made sure I stitched today. I also am glad to uh, know that I cooked and um, had a wonderful uh, day with my family. So if that's what I'm doing the rest of the year, that'll be great. <laughs> so today I got up, I knew what I had to start on. I'm looking at my magazine monthly cross stitch pop-up challenge, which is my January bingo. And the number that was called was number five. And this is where my number five is. And the prompt was a whip or a new start with words. Now I had originally penciled in Autumn Bell Pull for that, but when I've been working on all my Christmas things, I realized that I had a new start in December that I wanted to put some more work into. And it's on my whip go board for later, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get some work done on it. Santa Berry Pudding. And it definitely has words, as you can see. It has a lot of words. Uh, it's mostly words. <laughs> so I picked this up and where I had stitched before was down to the stars. I had gotten through those stars. And you may recall I commented on how much brighter the colors are in this piece than they appear to be on the pattern. So today I went down the line here and I did the majority of the next section of words. There are a few more snowflakes that go out here and then it starts a whole nother sentence. So I didn't finish the whole section today for a couple of reasons. One, I really only had to get a hundred stitches for the prompt in the bingo. But for another prompt I had discovered in one of my Facebook groups, which was a story about um, Fantasy Island. I wanted to say Gilligan's Island and that wasn't right, but this was about Fantasy Island. And so all these facts are there and then you have questions that you tie back uh, to that. So the prompt that I met in there today was to work on a piece that has something that in it that once you use it, you dispose of it or discard it. And this has a Christmas tree in it because this has a star on top of that tree. So that's a Christmas tree. I'm calling it a Christmas tree. And usually when you're done with your live Christmas tree, you do discard it. You either let people come and chip it up or, you know, to go mulch or you, you know, donate it to someone to burn in their fireplace or whatever. So that's how I met it. And the minimum amount of stitches for that prompt was 200. So I needed 100 in one, 200 in the other one. And so I just combined those together and I went ahead and did the 200. And to finish the little snowflake at the end there, it took 205 stitches. So this was the first thing that I did this morning to get started on my stitching because with the January bingo, you have a prompt every day. Now, I don't know what number she'll call for tomorrow. I haven't looked to see if she's done it already. But whatever she calls tomorrow, I have to look and see if it's something I can do. Um, because I'm working on bingo. So, I wanted to do that first. The other thing I looked at was my whip go board. And I needed to do a new start on it for Peep, Easter Peep or I needed to do 10 hours on another one of my whips, um, the nativity. And I didn't have 10 hours today to do. And I, in fact, after doing this this morning and all the other things I had to do today because of the holiday, I didn't have a big chunk of time. So I didn't want to, um, to go after either one of those today. I will work on those tomorrow. So what I did instead was what I said I was gonna do. I had a new year, new start. 
So I'm going to show you my new year, new start. This will remind you that it's Crab Apple Tree by um, Rosewood Manor. And you know, this looks real complicated and looks like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of stitching. And I got started on it today and it is going to be a absolute pleasure. I'm just loving it. I would have loved to just start this today and not stop on it until I finished it. Oh, it was so fun to stitch. First of all, it's on this gorgeous fabric that Marissa dyed for it, but here's the beginning of it. There's that beautiful border starting. Fuzz, sorry. Um, starting on that corner, that top corner. And in looking at the pattern today, I learned some things about it. This is where I started, right up here. And so I plan on doing the white border to down to um, this midsection here, maybe split it in half there or do it all the way down to the color, I don't know. And then I'm gonna do this center, I'm gonna do all of this square so that the next one it will be a lot easier because I won't have the middle to do. I'll just have the top to come down. But this is what I've discovered today. In this border, and this is probably too hard for you to see, is the word summer. In this border, and you have to turn it this way to read it. Yeah. It says spring right here for this one. And then right here says winter. And it is the correct, I mean, it's up and down just like summer, winter. But over here, it says autumn, and it starts over here and it reads to the middle. Isn't that wild? So, I don't know why they didn't do winter upside down so that they were all facing that way. Isn't that amazing though? But I didn't know that before. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And each of these inner borders are different. So that means all of these are different because they're words and everything inside is different. So the only thing that's really the same in the border is this outer, most outer border here that goes around. So now it's a whip. <laughs> so when, I, when this is pulled on my uh, whip go, I have to complete an entire season. That's my goal, the whip go. So at least today, I had a good start. And I think that uh, border, that white border, is showing up beautifully there. So I'm very happy with that. I stitched a little over 300 stitches today. I think that's a good start, very good start. So I'm happy about that. So now I'm gonna put this away, and I'm actually keeping it in a pink project bag that I was um, gifted at a retreat. So I thought that was appropriate <laughs> to put this pink project in that pink project bag. Now, I will have way more fabric than I need, as you can see. I have a lot of fabric. <laughs> so I will be able to cut this as soon as I get my pattern all the way across and all the way down, I'll go ahead and trim it so that I'm not having to fight with all this fabric, but I'll wait a little while to cut it to see where it's gonna land. Um, so, that was my stitching today. What a great new year, huh? My husband surprised me today and asked me if I would share with him what my stitching plans were and what all I was uh, had planned for the coming year. And it was quite interesting to sit and tell him about 
that I was doing something different this year than I've ever done before and that, um, you know, I'm doing the whip go and the bingo and um, I'm still doing some prompts and some events, uh, but that the whip go and the bingo being unpredictable is a new twist for me because I'm used to planning everything out a month in advance and you're not going to be able to do that with the January bingo. Now, with WIPGO, you can because you get your numbers on the 27th of one month for the next month. So, you can plan out the whole next month how you're going to work on those two prompts. But you can't on this January bingo. So, we'll see how long I hang in there with that one. <laughs> I'm hoping for a while. But I'm looking forward to it. I posted my first um, pictures out there today uh, for the prompt and uh, the uh, number five and to show that I got that one so I'm happy about that and I think I've had a pretty good first day of the year <laughs> it's rained all day so it was a great stitching day it's been wonderful I hope your year's gotten off to a good start I will talk to you later when I have something more to share with you so until then happy stitching Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dina and it is the 2nd of January. I've been busy. <laughs> I am working on a different prompt every day for the Bringo and fortunately it's only 100 stitches on most of them. But I'm also trying to um, work on my two projects for WIPGO and I have a gift I'm stitching. So I've been swapping back and forth today quite a bit. So I'm not gonna show you my gift stitching right now. I'm gonna wait till I get a little more done on that because I always have to ask my sister to look away. So I'm gonna wait just a little bit uh, on that before I share it with you. So today I did some gift stitching and then I had to stitch on Sleepy Hollow. Um, I was stitching on it for a prompt and I did the uh, it was the for my bringo the prompt the number that was called for for um, today was to stitch with your least favorite color which was black for me and so I picked my sleepy hollow because the horse is black, but I also discovered when I pulled it out that I needed to backstitch um, quite a bit of the border, and the next motif in the border was the bat. So I stitched the two bats, one on each side, and then I backstitched them and all of the motifs on the left side of the border, um, and it gave me the number of stitches I needed for my Bringo, and um, so I got that done. Well, as it turned out, I just looked at the Facebook group for tomorrow. And the number that's called for tomorrow is a block where my um, prompt is to stitch on the um, the letter, something that the letter I could stand for from the acrostic. Well, <laughs> I for me is Ichabod Crane, which is my sleepy hollow all over again. So I've already looked at it and I've added up the stitches where I uh, backstitched today. And I have enough room on the right side of the border for all the stitching I've done to backstitch the right side of the border, all the motifs in it, and I'll have enough stitches for that too. And then I'll be caught up with most of the back stitching, and that's that's a great a feeling. That really feels good. So rather than show it to you today and show it to you again tomorrow, I decided I would not film it today, and I'll just share it tomorrow, and then you only see it once, but you'll see all the progress on it. So that means what I want to share with you today is what my first um, whip go prompt. Uh, will be, and that is the number that was called for me 
was Easter Peep. This was one of my mania starts, a planned mania start that I put on the board so that I would be sure I worked on these during the year. And my goal for this was a finish. <laughs> so today I had to start this so I can finish it. <laughs> I'm finding this great fun, y'all. I hope you see the humor in it. But anyway, I wanted to start this today. And I figured I don't have to finish it this month. You know, I have the whole year to get it done. I can just put it in my rotation. I love it. It is so cute. Anyway, I did a color conversion somewhat because I didn't have all the call for. So even though they're DMC, I have, um, I have so many things kitted right now. I'm missing a few of my colors because they're in other projects and I don't want to necessarily go buy another one. So I got out my handy dandy DMC thread card that my husband, I know my sister gifted to me this year for Christmas. And I looked at the colors and I pulled my hand dyed threads and I found something to match. <laughs> so I have a few hand dyeds in there instead of the DMC just to get the colors right. But I also changed the color of the fabric. This you see is on sort of a, a beige or very neutral light tan. And I wanted to do mine on blue. In fact, I picked out ice blue Lugana that was um, gifted to me by my son this Christmas. So I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know where he bought it from, but it is Swigert because it's got the orange stripe in it. I had a remnant of uh, summer skies I was going to stitch it on, and before I started stitching, I measured it. I must not have measured it before, or I was thinking I was going to make a pillow before, and I only needed the half-inch margin that I would have had to sew it up, but today I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure I wanted to make it a pillow, and I wasn't sure um, about the colors blending well on that blue but this ice blue is a clear blue it's very pretty and the colors are popping on it isn't that lovely so I got about 330 stitches in there today um, I just decided I was gonna do one side this flower on one side and then uh, the next time I pick it up, I'll, I think there, that the brim of the hat is pretty close to this leaf and that'll let me get the Easter peep stitched and then I'll count off of Easter peep and do the other flower. Um, and then I, I can always check it up here too. But isn't that lovely? Now it will be slightly longer by a few stitches here because I have a green heel to put down here. But for now, I think that's a great start. Very happy with it. So I'm gonna leave it in the Q-snap and leave it on my table because I have, I wanna work on it when I have just a short time, you know, to work on that. So that's my stitching update for today. Um, I also, <laughs> I've been stitching on a lot of things. I've been stitching on at least three projects a day so far. Um, and that's unlike me. You know, I usually, I'll stitch several hours in the day, but it's usually on one piece so I can see a great deal of progress. So I'm thinking if I get a bingo in this bringo at all, if I get at least one bingo, I may stop right there because having to stitch something new on there every day is uh, a, little, a little different for me. And I really like to get, once I get into the stitching of something, I like to keep going a little bit longer. So we'll see how that goes. So today my son came in and he was very dejected and he, he looked really sad. And he just handed me this box and said, Merry Christmas. And I said, what did you do? Did you forget something that you wanted to give me? He said, no, he didn't forget it. When he ordered it, they said it would be here before Christmas. It didn't get here. It got here today <laughs> on January 2nd so he he couldn't stand it he didn't want to hang on to it you know for a whole year 
um, since my birthday is until December, it is a whole year, you know, for him to have to hang on to it. So instead, he, he just went ahead and gave it to me. Late Christmas present. It was going to be in my stocking. You're going to love this. <laughs> These are little tube socks. Look at their toes. And they have cocoa on them. And I had to go ahead and show them to you because I'm going to be wearing them tomorrow. <laughs> so, anyway, I love them. I think they're precious. Well, I appreciate you letting me share all these funny little things uh, about my puppy and uh, my son's sense of humor and that sort of thing. Um, and I really appreciate you following me along in my stitching journey. So, I'll let you get on back to what you were doing. I'm going to be hitting the hay. It's late. And uh, Coco's already given up on me and gone to bed. So, <laughs> i got to go join her. I will be talking with you hopefully again tomorrow with my updates on what I was stitching. And um, tell you what, maybe a little bit about what my plans are for the next day. Because this is not like me having to plan almost the day of for the day, you know, uh, it's just a little more uh, than I usually wait. <laughs> so it's new and it's different and it's a challenge and I'm going, I'm going to rise to the challenge and I'm going to make it work. So hang in there with me and, and uh, we'll see how long I can do that. <laughs> oh, you guys, I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Happy stitching. Good morning, welcome back everyone. This is Dina. Today is January the 3rd. It is around lunchtime and I wanted to start today by sharing with you my progress because it's a hangover from yesterday's progress. So let's get started. On my magazine monthly uh, challenge uh, pop-up, which is the Bringo Challenge, we're playing bingo just in the month of January. So there will be a number drawn every single day. Today's number was 15 and the 15 prompt is to stitch on something that begins with I for the acrostic letter I. Well, I decided mine was gonna stand for Ichabod Crane, who's in the story of Sleepy Hollow. And I had just stitched on Sleepy Hollow um, for stitching um, with your least favorite color the day before, which was black, and I, I had done 120 stitches, which more than met the 100 stitches for the block. And the, and the way that I accomplished that yesterday is I came in and I stitched two bats in the border, which were solid black, and then I went up on this side and I backstitched all of the motifs over here. And that's how I got the 120 stitches. Well, today I had already stitched this bat, but I needed another 100 stitches in black. So I started at the first motif and I backstitched every one of these. And that actually gave me 159 stitches. And yes, before you ask, I count two stitches in back stitch as one stitch of cross stitch because you have to make two two stitches so that was counting it that way not every little jot and tittle so here's where uh this one is right now and had i needed any more black you know i could have come right over here and just start filling in the horse but what i like about this is that this uh bringo game has actually helped me to catch up on the back stitching because I wanted to back stitch as I went. And I hadn't done that in quite a while because I was stitching for prompts and counting stitches and back stitching doesn't add up stitches very fast, especially when you count two for one. So that helped me get caught up on that. And I really am glad about that. That was kind of fun. So now I have my block I can color in and I'm just doing this on pencil and paper because it's just a one month thing. I, I didn't take the time to put it in the computer and all that. So these were the first and second. And now this is my third of January and look here. Oh, I'm so excited. And look, these are in a row. 
<laughs> Who knows? Now the next one will probably be somewhere over here or here where it doesn't help me at all in those in those, and that's okay. But um, right now it's going in in a, in a good way, so I'm excited about that. So now I have to decide: Am I going to grab the nativity and start working on that for Whip Go? I have to get 10 hours in it. Um, I could do a couple today. I could do, uh, you know, a couple every week and I would be fine. I just need to see how it goes. But today is Sunday. It's a quiet day. All the family's home. Um, I don't know how much concentrated stitching time I will get. So I may go back and work on the other Whip Go project, which is Easter Peep, because I have to finish it completely this month. Um, well, this year. <laughs> I'm trying to get them done in the month, but I don't think I'll be able to do all of those. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. I've kind of gotten out of the uh, anxiety of not knowing what I have to stitch until late, late, late tonight, what my prompt will be for tomorrow. But 100 stitches is not hard. Um, so I've decided I'm just going to do that one first, get it behind me, post it, and then I can stitch whatever I want for my whip go board. Um, I have my gift stitching to work on as well. So I will be sprinkling that in too. Anyway, I hope you're having a great stitching week and I will possibly be back later today uh, if I get enough stitching done to share it with you. So happy stitching until next time. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Dina. Today is January the 4th, and I'm here to give you a stitching update. I have been adjusting <laughs> to having a prompt called every day that tells me I have to stitch something that day, uh, and I think I've gotten into the groove. I had told myself I was going to stitch the 100 stitches every day and get that one done every day, and I have decided now that I'm going to just make sure I get them all done by the end of the month. Um, because today was just a huge day for me. Um, I had a friend, a dear friend, who called and asked if they could take me to lunch for my birthday, and um, there was another one of our friends that's in our bubble that we've been um, seeing each other and being together the whole time of COVID. Um, and they, it had been her birthday since we had gotten together, and so, um, she wanted to take us both to lunch, and that was great. She drove us uh, to a lovely uh, place in Buford, Georgia, and we had lunch there, and we walked um, into a couple of little shops, and then we came on home. So we kept it very brief. There were hardly anybody out. Uh, anytime we went into a shop, we were the only people in the shop, and we stayed six feet apart from any from the owners in there, and um, had a great great day. But that took a big chunk of time out of my day today. So, instead of stopping and doing 100 stitches on a piece that I want to do far more than 100 stitches, I'll do that in the morning. And then I'll keep working on it because it's on my whip go. It's one of the numbers that was pulled for my two uh, pieces in January because I have this free, free space in the middle. And so, um, I'll be working on it for for that as well and for whip go I have to put 10 hours in that thing <laughs> in this year uh, so 100 stitches isn't gonna be enough and I'd rather just do them both tomorrow I think that just makes more sense rather than swapping back and forth and swapping back and forth so let me share with you what I have been working on my first whip go number pulled was Easter peep Easter peep was one of my proposed stitch mania starts that I had bagged up and um, partially kitted up and had started putting away for mania. Well, it was my first one. <laughs> so I did what I said I was going to do. I went ahead and got started on it and I worked on it January 1st and worked on it again on the 3rd. And today, I took the rest of what a little bit of stitching time I had to finish Easter Peep because my whip go goal on this one was finish. 
and I think it's precious. Isn't he precious? He or she, I can't tell. What do you think? It's got a dark hat on but a, and a blue ribbon, which makes me think it might be a little boy. I don't know, but precious, absolutely precious. So there's my Easter peep, all finished up. I think it turned out great on this fabric. This is the Lugana that my son, one of the pieces my son gave me for Christmas. And I was trying to see if it told you where he got it. It doesn't, but it's an ice blue and it's 28 count. So this is a little bit larger piece. So I could make a nice large um, pillow or it might fit perfectly in a beautiful eight by 10. I'll have to measure it and see. I might be able to get just a regular um, frame. And look, y'all, I wanted to start this so badly and I was so eager to stitch on it. I didn't even zigzag my fabric. I mean, I just, I just went for it and stitched it. So um, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And I get to mark off my first whip go other than free space, but the one that I actually earned, I get to mark it off. So I can't wait to do that tomorrow. And I'll post it probably tomorrow as well. It's fairly late at night. So I have one more thing to share with you tonight, and that is a piece of happy mail. Because back for my birthday, um, one of my good friends, Marissa, surprised me with a gift package. And in that package was the pattern for two of the queens um, that um, are mere boogie queens. And I was trying to look for their proper name. Hold on, I'll tell you. Royal Games. Um, she had sent me Royal Games 1 and had kitted it up for me for my birthday and I shared that with you. So for Christmas, my sister had gone on my one, two, three stitch and she had ordered some things and gave me a few gifts from one, two, three stitch as my Christmas and lo and behold, she had sent me Royal Games One because I didn't know I was getting it from Marissa and so I hadn't taken it off my wish list um, until it arrived and by then my sister had already ordered it and it was on its way. <laughs> So I wound up with two of them. So I called 123 Stitch and I just asked, would they be willing to swap one out? And my sister Stephanie had really wanted to get me both of them as both patterns as a pair so I could do the set. And they were both on my wish list and it was out of stock. Well, by the time I got everybody's gifts here, and I had the two patterns. When I called, it was back in stock. They were so nice. All I had to send with it was a copy of the packing slip that had the PO order on it, or the order number, uh, where one of my friends had bought it. And they um, both offered to, to give me you know, a copy of it. But I had one in my gift package from Marissa. They had sent me a packing slip with all the prices just zeroed out and said you know gift from Marissa well I had that so I made a copy of it and I sent it back and today I got the other one <laughs> Royal Games 2 I'm ecstatic I'm very happy so I've got the first set already kitted up I'm gonna look and see if these call for the same colors. May have to add, take away, you know, one or two, but I'm hoping that it will be similar. And if so, I'll just put it in the same bag. I'll keep them all kitted up together. And when I get the fabric picked out, I may pick out the same fabric if they both look good on it. I think they've just got them on white like a playing card, but you know me. I'm gonna have to look and see if that's what I wanna do. Isn't that exciting? I want to thank you, Marissa, and I want to thank you, Stephanie, both of you, for uh, looking at my wish list and providing me a sweet gift from there. Appreciate it very much. Okay, that's it for me tonight. I'm going to call it a night and go get some shut-eye 
and hopefully I will have some more to share with you uh, tomorrow or the day after. Happy stitching everyone. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dina. Today is the 5th of January and I'm here to give you a stitching update. Um, I am thoroughly enjoying my whip go and I'm enjoying the monthly magazine challenge bingo that they call bringo uh, for bringo. I wanted to tell you that on both of those grids, <laughs> I had a prompt or one of the, uh, the prompt for bringo was to stitch on um, the acrostic letter A and for me that's autumn bell pull. Um, I'll have to do that tomorrow because today I did a huge challenge on my whip go board. My one of my January numbers was to put in 10 hours on the nativity. This is to remind you, this is the Teresa Winsler nativity. And this is, of course, my restart on it. I restarted it in Mania, so it's one of the two uh, Mania starts that I didn't finish <laughs> last year. And that, that's why, because it was a big one. Um, so when I began working on this for, uh, it was also called uh, yesterday on my, um, for, for Bringo, and, it, and, um, and it was for the acrostic letter F. And um, I said it was because it had a female in it, but another uh, way that it fits is it has feathers. Um, and that's what I worked on. <laughs> I worked on the wings today. When I started this, I had stitched uh, one color all in here. I had, I had completed one color in that section, and that's where I started from today. Uh, so for my Bringo challenge to get my 100 stitches, I color completed a second color in that wing and went over to the other wing and started that color over there till I had over 100 stitches. And then I had lunch with my husband and came back in here and started stitching again on the nativity. And I actually was able to put in five and a half hours on it today. And I had set a little goal for myself and I actually surpassed my goal. My goal was to finish one of the wings, completely finish it, the section that I was working on, not the whole wing. That would have taken um, months. But anyway, I finished both of them. I'm so excited, very, very pleased with that. So to help me be able to make it a little bit easier to see, I had color completed the medium and a little bit darker color that's in here. There's three different colors in the wing and then you've got this dark color that is sort of showing what's underneath that, that part is pulling over like this. So I did those first and I left the ecru, which is the fillion in here, I left it to last because then I could just do mindless stitching, you know, filling in after I had done all those other colors around the edges. So that helped a lot, but I am halfway to my Whipco goal on the nativity already in the first month. I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. So I will be putting that aside. And tomorrow I have to go ahead and uh, stitch on my autumn bell pull for the letter A acrostic that was pulled today. In Beringo and I didn't get to get to it today so I'll do it first thing in the morning make sure I've met that um, square and then I'll go find out what the letter is for tomorrow and plot to stitch that second and then I will be caught up on all of my uh, immediate prompts that I need to, to stitch so that's fun that's a lot of fun I'm enjoying it I hope you are enjoying your stitching I hope you've gotten off to a great start this January. I will uh, let you get back to what you were doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go hit the hay as <laughs> as I usually tell you it's late when I film um, because I get to do a lot of my stitching at night now um, after you know things have settled 
in the house. So um, just want to wish you a great week and I will be back with another update as soon as I have something to share with you. In the meantime, happy stitching. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Tina and today is January the 6th. So my stitching today was actually to meet the Bringo assignment for yesterday, January the 5th. The prompt was to stitch on a piece that um, represented the letter A from the acrostic in the same Facebook group. So for me, that was my autumn bell pull. So I went back to my autumn, I'll turn it where you can actually see the picture. Uh, I went back to my autumn bell pull. If you recall, I had started on the top of that and I didn't quite get that A block finished yet. So when I pulled it out today, I made a goal. I wanted to finish this entire green vine that curls upward and around the letter. I thought that would be a good accomplishment today since I only needed a hundred stitches. So here's what I did. I did the vine. I think it turned out really, really pretty. So that was 145 stitches in this entire vine and it was four different colors but I enjoyed every minute of it. This is an easy piece to stitch. It's not a difficult pattern, but it is intricate. It has a lot of details in it, a lot of color changes, even in that little vine. <laughs> so got it done, got to mark off my Bringo board. And I will tell you, today's prompt was to start a new start, a magazine start, that is not your seasonal start for the Facebook group. And for me, I have so many things already started and I have so many more I want to start on my WIPCO board. I decided I'm not gonna do the magazine prompts. Those will be the two blocks I don't do. Um, so that let me catch up today by getting my A done. <laughs> I'm now caught up. So I just checked a few minutes ago to see what the prompt was for tomorrow so I could get my project out and get it ready to go in the morning and it is not posted quite yet. It's still early in the evening and, and um, Carolyn hasn't put it up yet. So I'll, I have decided to go back and work a little bit on my secret stitch that is a gift from my sister Stephanie. And so for the rest of this evening, that's what I'll be working on for what, what little bit of time I'm gonna get to stitch tonight. So that is my progress for January 6th. And I hope I get to come tomorrow and uh, show you more progress. Uh, in the meantime, happy stitching. Hello, welcome, welcome back. This is uh, Dina and I am here to give you my update on how my stitching is going today. I'm taking this time to do this update this morning in case I don't get anything else done this afternoon because I have some household cleaning and some chores to do. So this is my Bringo board and it has a prop for every day and um, Carolyn Zook is pulling the number of what we're to stitch on that day late in the evening the day before. So last night I checked and she had pulled this number 16 and it's the prompt is stitch on a piece that would fit the letter R in the acrostic that we're doing this um, month, which is affirm. So for my R, I decided that I would pick up my remix, my little sheep virtues that I'm working on, um, you know, where I'm putting t the sheep virtues with another Country Cottage Needleworks pattern. And today I started the number four which is Courage. It's the fourth in the series. And it was convenient that I was had a prompt for that because this will also qualify for my one in a series sale in um, Cross Stitch Finish Line that I'm working in. So, yay, raw! I got two things with one. That's great. So, I got started today on Courage and I stitched 117 
stitches to get that done. There it is. I got the whole bottom border and I started working on the words and I just stitched till my thread ran out and that's why it's 117, odd number, but that's why I stopped. So I've met that and I can color that square in now and I'll give you just a um, re remembrance of this is the piece I'm doing and uh, this is, will be my fourth one on my top row and I am, I'm stopping there. I'm not gonna work anymore on it uh, because I am doing this with my friend Marissa and she had to do some Christmas stitching and had to put hers down for a little bit. So I'm trying to, to give her a chance to catch up with where I am, or pretty close anyway. So that's my stitching for my um, Bringo today. And now I'm gonna grab some lunch and then I'll come back and I'm gonna try to stitch on my secret stitch, which is my uh, present for my sister Stephanie and see if I can um, get some work on that. I've been working on it little bits right before I go to bed at night. And um, so this time when I work on it, I'll try to give you an update on it. Happy stitching, everybody. I hope that whatever you're participating in, that you're stitching to, to um, start off your new year and give you motivation, that you're enjoying it. I am, I'm having a great time. So happy stitching until we talk again. Hello, welcome back. It is January 9th, it's Saturday. I spent a couple of hours this morning chatting with a friend of mine uh, in Spain. Uh, we did virtual stitching together this morning. And um, while we were stitching, I decided to stitch on a project that would meet a couple of prompts for me. My 24 hours of cross stitch acrostic has the letter E in it, and so I used gathering eggs for that and here's a reminder of what that little mirabilia looks like and I needed for a different prompt to stitch with uh, one of five colors either black brown green white or something else green and so I chose to stitch in white because I had more clouds to stitch in this little gathering eggs. So I picked up where I left off up here and I stitched this white here, 330 stitches in white and I finished all of the clouds. So her little head starts right here. So the next time I pick this up, I can start on her and I can stitch her and then fill in all around her. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So Lovely, uh, lovely uh, morning of stitching. I met two goals by doing that. Actually, three because um, for my uh, whip go, had to stop and think, sorry. For whip go, I have committed to putting 10 hours into this piece. And so uh, I marked my time today of how much I'm stitching as well. So if I need to, I can count that toward my 10 hours. I'd like to start counting the time once it's called, but depending on how late it is in the year, I've decided that may or may not work. <laughs> so I'm making a record of how many hours I'm stitching on these pieces that I've committed to five or 10 hours, just in case I need it. But uh, because I am putting in the work and it is in 2021, so. That's my stitching so far this morning. I just wanted to share it with you because it's Saturday and um, I don't know, you know, just how much time I may get later to stitch. But before I go, there's something else I want to share with you. I have mentioned before that my friend Marissa and I decided to do a birthday exchange. We stitched something for each other for our birthdays because they're, um, next to each other. Mine is in December and hers is in January. I got mine. <laughs> She's still waiting on hers. I've mailed it. Don't, don't, uh, don't get me wrong. I've mailed it and it's been gone a couple of weeks already, but, um, you know, it's got to get through customs. So we'll see how long it takes. But our, um, our exchange just had a couple of rules and that was it had to be a Brenda Gervais pattern 
and it had to be no bigger than six inches by six inches. You had to stay under that. So this is what I got. This is the most beautiful little snow girl and she's put my initial D here. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And I love the way she finished it with the beads around the edge. And she told me how she did that because I asked. And in the Brenda Gervais pattern, if you recognize this one, you know there's a beautiful border of flowers that go around this piece. Well, to keep within the size limit, she had to take the border off. So she put it on the back for me. She had to change it up a little bit to get it to fit, but she wanted me to have the border, and so I have it on the back. Isn't that great? I thought it was just lovely. I love my pin cushion pillow. It's and it may just be a small that I put out uh, for the winter time on my mantle. I don't have a dough bowl, so I put mine usually on my mantle. But I just loved it. Thank you, Marissa. It's beautiful. She also sent me some things from Canada, and one of the stitchy things that she sent is um, a skein of superwash merino nylon. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I'll have to think of something to do with that now. <laughs> so I love it. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful color. I got some uh, Canadian hot chocolate and she sent one for each of us, uh, myself, my son, and my husband, which was great. I thought that was lovely. And um, she sent me a couple of little stitching things I use these a lot with my projects and she tied them up with a pretty little bow of uh, Rick Rack so I could use that as a finishing trim as well. And um, just, I had a great, great uh, time opening all this up and looking at it and I just, uh, just had a wonderful time. Happy mail, happy mail. So I wanted to share that with you a little bit. I am uh, just about finished putting all my Christmas away. Um, I have a few boxes I have to bring up from downstairs so I can clear out my mantle. Uh, and I have to give up my tree in here. I've got to find a box big enough to store all 25 of my Advent animal ornaments. <laughs> That's the reason it's still in here. Uh, but all my other decorations are down and um, put away, and, uh, except for the mantle. And I'm waiting for a big, my big storage box to put all that in. My husband will get that for me today. And then I think I'm gonna start decorating for Valentine's. I don't have a whole lot, um, just enough to put like an ornament tree. So um, that's probably what I'll put out, but I'll get started on it. And I had a little thought at, because I love this little white tree in here so much. I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could put Valentine's on it and just leave this tree up all year and eventually put ornaments on it for every season. Wouldn't that be fun? I just might try it. <laughs> I may put Valentine's on it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It won't be nearly as full, you know, as as it is with Christmas on there, but I may try it and see what I think of it. Anyway, I hope you're having a great um, weekend. There's a Stitchathon weekend this weekend. There's a challenge in Whipgo that I decided not to do this weekend because I had so much other stuff going on. But Jason Marie, I hope to do the next one. And I think it's a great idea and I like it. And so I hope to, to you know, jump in there and join you guys. But uh, until we have a chance to talk again, I hope you have happy stitching and I hope that you're healthy and safe. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dina. It is later today <laughs> on the 9th. And I just wanted to come back and give you a little bit of an update of what I've been working on today in the afternoon. On our Bringo um, Bingo Challenge from the Monthly Magazine Challenge Group, our number that was drawn today had a prompt that said you are to stitch on your smallest whip. So I got mine out. <laughs> it is the um, village, um, the Christmas Village Ornaments, and I'm working on this first one down here, which has Santa Claus on the roof, and it's actually the first one in the series of six, 
and so I wanted to continue working on it. And our prompt says we have to put in 100 stitches or an hour, and so I count, counted my stitches, and I put in 160 stitches today. So I actually got started, I put the pink shading in the snow here, and finished off the pink in the sky over here, and then I grabbed the gray, the alternate gray color in this roof, and I've put it along the roof line up here where it was called for, and I finished all of the gray in this second roof section, um, and I started a little bit of the window up here, but anyway, I, um, working my way down, trying to use the same color, you know, in that area as I go. But that's what 160 stitches added to it today. So I'm looking, looking uh, forward to working on it again. It's not hard, it's just a little bit of confetti heavy. So I do a little bit of it and then I want to work on something else that's not quite so uh, fast changing <laughs> anyway. I'm glad to get that done and um, met that prompt for today. So I've done all of the squares in the Bringo um, Bingo chart that I have other than the new starts for the magazine starts. And I just have so many new starts coming up in WIPGO. I just felt like I didn't want to do that right now. Now I can still do it before the end of the month and get that square, but uh, I might, unless I have to have it for my bingo, I'm probably gonna let that one lay, but it's my game, right? It's my board and uh, it's just meant to be encouraging and um, it's certainly allowing me to stitch on a great, great variety of pieces and where I would normally not pick them up until a rotation brings them on and then I stitch one day and I might get, you know, 300, 400, 500 stitches in it and then I don't pick it up again for a whole month. This way, I'm picking up these pieces and I'm putting 100 stitches in, 100 and whatever, you know, it's usually more than 100. I go till my floss runs out. And then I may have to pick it up again this month and do it again, you know, so I'm seeing it a little more frequently. It's keeping it in my, in my mind to think about it and I'm enjoying that. So I encourage you to join in sometime on, on uh, these bingo challenges if you, if you haven't and uh, enjoy it with me. So in the meantime, until I have something else to share with you, I hope you have great stitching and uh, I hope you're healthy and well. Happy stitching, everyone. Are you warmed up yet? Have you to run this hard and fast before? No. Some water? You want some water?